Alright, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video at my max speed test. This is the Zender Alpha. This is the World Championships car. Now that we beat the World Champion two weeks ago and we did the max speed test for the uh, London Champion last week, we're going to do this one this week. Um, again, yeah, new things for the channel here for the Midnight Club series. First, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Give me a thousand subs, that'd be great. Um, what we're gonna do, if you all hadn't watched the video last week, I talked about this, but I'll do it again here, just in case y'all are new to the channel here. I've been playing through Midnight Club. Um, I've also been giving head-to-head -head series for each of the cars, so I'm gonna do that. I did that for the New York, the three New York cars. I'm gonna do that as well for the uh, three London cars, and then we're gonna do all the uh, extra races that unlock all the funny stuff, and I'll show you how to unlock if you're if you need a refresher because this is an old game. How to unlock the cars through the little pink orb light things that you have to find. I'll uh, show you where those are if, you're, if you need a refresher. Um, I'll talk a little bit about this car in a second. Uh, but yeah, what we're doing is we are going to be doing a... I'll show the, the all the unlocks and I'll do max speed tests for all the unlock cars as well. Um, I'll also just slam into the wall there as the Zender here. This car is extremely weak in terms of durability. All the fastest cars in the game are extremely weak in terms of being able to live. So I'm already smoking just from one crash, though it was a major one. But um, I'm trying to just keep the car under control. This this bridge or this tunnel area is very very glitchy. So if you ever want to see funny things in this game, just drive around in here. I fell through the vid fell through the floor in last week's video. So that and he just ended the video right there. I was like. I can't, I can't top that, so I just ended it. But um, yeah, we're driving the Zender Alpha. Uh, there's another couple of cars that we're gonna unlock under each of these. The World Champion and the London Champion both have two extra cars that you unlock later in the little bonus series stuff. Um, but this car is extremely fast and it has very touchy handling, but it's terrible at the same time. It's a very unique car in that its handling is very bad and good at the same time. Um, that ambulance is clipping through the floor. I don't really know what's going on with that. But yeah, this car is um, super weak and its handling is bad, but also kind of good in that if you tap it once, it basically will just start making a 90 degree angle and then it'll just stay like that. It doesn't slide anymore. It will like, you, you touch it, it slides and then it never, corrects itself at all so like that's why it's bad handling but it's also good because it's way more predictable it the handling is so bad that it's actually predictable sometimes the car if you the handling is good enough that it tries to straighten and that's its own problem in this game because the handling can be super touchy but with this car it's like no if you uh turn me i'm just gonna turn and that's it you're gonna have to it's just good luck good luck with that so i don't know if that makes sense basically this car is the handling is just right <laughs> to me. It it, play, it plays well for my style. Um, it, I, I like driving cars where if you tap the thing once, if you tap the handbrake once, it just slides and it doesn't try to fix itself. It just goes, you have to control it and that's it. But some cars in this game don't act like that. So that's why I'm talking about that. Um, this car is very fast, extremely weak. I've already died once and I'm about to die again. If I touch anything else and there we go. I got it up to 180 before, but obviously, yeah, part of the fun is having the AI all over the road because it makes it silly. But this car is very, very fast, literally better than the uh, Japan or the London champion in pretty much every single way, shape, and form. Um, and it's pretty identical in the durability and in the handling department. These cars, it's basically just a better version of the uh, London champion car. Um, but yeah, this thing can. Live. I'm going to already 185. I think if I don't hit anything, I can get up to 190 here easily. Okay, not easily. I just barely clipped 190. But that's it. Um, as this car also was flipping all over the place. This car is very out of control. That's the thing with the uh, the fastest cars in the game. There was a pedestrian car behind me that just vanished. So, you know, whatever that is. But, um, yeah, this car is good. I, I like it. I've missed driving this car. It's been a long time since I played this game and gotten this car again, but it's very fast, very out of control, and looks hilarious when it's damaged in the front. Um, yeah, this car is really just hilarious. So, 
Um, yeah, that's about all I need to say on this one. Next up after this is the uh, police max speed test video. I'm gonna go back and do those for London because I never, or for UK, uh, the US, the New York uh, police cars. I unlocked them and haven't done their max speed test yet. So I'm gonna do those. And then from there we're gonna go into all the fun little side missions and unlock all the bonus cars. So it'll be fun. I'm enjoy I'm excited for the end of this game because the end is like the funnest part. It's the hilarious races where like everyone's meter maids and all that stuff. There's a lot of little fun stuff. So more to come. This game is great. And thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get to a thousand subs and enjoy the rest of the video. Or actually it's over now. So enjoy. Peace.